Hi, this is Michelle Yamazaki from Tool Farm, and today I'm going to show you a trick using key light to isolate skin tones for skin retouching. So there are many ways to isolate the skin tones. This is just one. So the first thing you need to do is duplicate your original footage twice and rename your layers keyed and blurred. If you're using a skin smoothing plugin, it would be applied to the blurred layer instead of box blur, which we're going to use today just to add a little bit of smoothing. Let's apply a key light to the keyed layer that is under Effect Keying Key Light. And we use the screen color eyedropper to select the skin tones. So let's turn off the visibility of the blurred in the original footage layer so that we can see what this looks like. Right now she looks uh, like her face is missing. So let's set the view to screen matte. Now we'll want to adjust the screen mat parameters until the skin is isolated. You want the skin to appear black and everything else that you don't want affected to be white in the mat. So on the blurred layer, let's set track mat to Luma inverted mat keyed. So it's selecting that layer right above it. And let's apply a box blur to that blurred layer. It is under blur and sharpen. So turn on the visibility of the original footage layer so that you can see how it looks together and adjust the blur radius and iterations. After you have it all set as you want it, lower the opacity of the blurred layer so that it blends a bit better. You want to bring in some of that texture again. So that's how you do it. Thank you for watching. Come visit us at toolfarm.com for more on skin retouching and digital makeup.